You know that toaster oven sized printer you have on that little table in the corner of the room? Well, its great great grandmother or grandfather, depending on the font, was once about the size of your room. Turns out early printing success was due to the power of the press. Today, we can simply hit one or two keys on our laptops to print a copy of something we've written or created in a matter of seconds. But prior to the computer age, you would have needed a full-time staff to print out your term paper for history class. Printing was a very physical job back in the 19th century, and we sort of take it for granted now as to how those letters ended up getting on the page. The Henry Ford's curator of communication and information technology, Kristen Gallerno, walked me into the museum's Greenfield Village to take a peek at our printing past. I know the name Gutenberg, the Gutenberg Bible. Is he the guy who starts it all? Printing press, yeah. He is the inventor of what we have in front of us here, which is hot metal type and it's movable. That means that we can rearrange things and make words and make pages of books. And he was the person that really revolutionized that. And so what are we looking at here? Okay, so this is a proofing press. Sometimes you would wanna try out a little bit of type before you moved it over to the larger press. You had to actually lay these things out letter by letter, and you also had to do it backwards. So it was a very time consuming process. Mm, I, I forgot about the backwards part. So we've got a little bit of type laid out here backwards and it's already inked up. So what we're gonna do is put the piece of paper over top of this. And then if you want to push this forward, okay. that's a couple hundred pounds of pressure. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. I rolled the proofing press several times over the inked letters, then checked the results. Ah, uh, it's true. <laughs> I stand by it. And let me show you the next step. It's uh -huh. over here. This is the Washington Press. Uh -huh. It's over 160 years old. The main innovation is this toggle. And the toggle helps to offset the weight. So you can actually print with one hand or even a small child could complete a print without much exertion. The Washington, I'm guessing, is George Washington George Washington there. and Ben Franklin. And why Ben Franklin? Ben Franklin was a printer. He worked in print shops as a kid from the age of 12 until I think into his early 20s. And he was very interested in the written word, obviously, as was George Washington. So that's why we see their images up here. For efficiency's sake, two people were needed to operate the Washington Press. One inked the plate, while both lowered what is called the timpan onto the plate, which is then slid under the cast iron platen. And what is this called again? This is the toggle mechanism. What you're going to do is you're going to push it towards me, but don't let it go because it might snap back. Okay. So this push is a it toggle. towards me. Yep. And feel how light that is? It's so so light. And so that's lowering the plate, and then you can just pull it back towards you. This is as easy as function P. And almost as fast as walking to the office printer, I had an 18th century printout. Benjamin Franklin, inventor, scientist, statesman, Printer, can you autograph this? Because Benjamin Franklin's not available. <laughs> um, I could.